Check her out. Oh yeah, just spilling down the sides. Take that, you yaki. Yerba mate. Yerba mate. Yerba mate. Yerba mate. Yerba mat. <laughs> Definitely not a glossy yerba. This is a mat yerba. Yerba mate. Guyaki. Guyakai. I think it has a little thing over the eye. Does that mean it says you guyakai? Yerba mate. Yerba mate. Mmm. Hey friend, do you watch the Huberman podcast? Maybe you heard the thing about caffeine and he goes into yerba mate and how it has the same benefits as cold plunging and you're like, I hate cold plunging but I really want those benefits. So you end up getting a bunch of yerba mate drinks and they're 350 a piece and they got a bunch of calories and sugar in them. Well today, I wanna change all that because I wanna show you a way to make yerba mate at home that tastes like a nice Arnold Palmer. Like you're out on the golf course. I don't even golf. By using some ancient fruits, some old dried up looking grass, and some hot water, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious beverage that doesn't cost 350 per 12 ounces, doesn't have extra calories, sugar, and doesn't come in a can. Let's get started making some yerba mate. All right, we're gonna need some organic yerba mate. Don't get the smoke kind. Apparently that takes away the benefits, the cold plunge benefits. You can still tell your friends that you cold plunge though. You also need lemon juice. I'm gonna just squeeze them. Zero calorie sweetener. Mm hmm yes. The biggest pitcher you can fit in your fridge. And a French press. Mmm. These are really cheap on Amazon. I got this guy from Target here. This is a giant pitcher. And I was doing it in a pitcher about half this size. At the, this is a threshold pitcher. It smells good, I, I cleaned it. You're gonna need an electric kettle or a tea kettle. You're gonna use that. My French press holds over 27 ounces. And I'm gonna fill it up twice with water and put that much in the tea kettle because I'm gonna actually steep it twice. I'm gonna go ahead and start heating this baby up to high. We're gonna pour our first guy in. Here comes our second guy. Cover it. You have to seal it up or the kettle doesn't work. While we're waiting for water to boil, I'm gonna take my lemons. Well, bam, bam. I dropped one. No. Yeah. Bam. I just love a sharp knife, man. Take a little screen so you don't get seeds in there. One. Two. I like three lemons. It's really pref preferential for taste, like whatever you want. I also like fresh squeezed lemon. Boom. I'm gonna take probably about a half cup of sweetener, probably a little more, almost a half cup to a whole cup of sweetener for me personally. Pour that in the bottom. Now you're just waiting on water to boil. Now I'm gonna take a whole cup of the old yerba mate. Some people are gonna be cringing right now. You're probably always cringing. I'm gonna do a whole cup. I like to double steep it. I like all the caffeine. That's what I'm getting it for is the benefits. Put a little bit of hot water in this glass to make sure that we're not shocking it too much. And now we play the waiting game. All right, as our kettle gets ready to boil, we have our three elements here ready to go. And the last thing I need is a little silicone spoon. You can use a wood spoon, but really when you're going to be stirring the grounds into your French press, you don't want to use metal because you don't want to break it. You have, definitely don't want to use a glass spoon either if you got one of those around. I was a C. I was going to try and do perfect pitch. Eat your heart out, Charlie Puth. So take your screaming train off. See if I can do my train here. That's pretty good. I'm going to pour the hot water out. Yerba mate in. Pour just enough to submerge the grounds, maybe halfway. Stir it, stir it real good until all the grounds have soaked up the water. So there's no more dry grounds left. It looks about right. I'm gonna pour to the max line. The top of my grounds come to the max. This little pour spout thing, put it offset so that it's completely sealed. Push it down just to where my grounds are under the water. I put it to about right there. Set a timer for six minutes. Perfect. By the way, while this is going, I still have my burner on low so that it can stay hot, so that I can reheat up my water once I get close to wanting to steep it again. Jeez. Six minutes feels like forever when you're trying to film. This is done. We're gonna slowly, slowly and gently. 
press it down. All the way down, turn your little spouty thing to the little holy thing. Slowly pour that sweet caffeinated juice in your giant reservoir. Give it a quick stir to get that sugar dissolved in there. We ain't done yet, let's pop this kettle back on. Listen, you hear that? It's immediately on. <laughs> All right, calm down. Now I can finally turn this burner off. And here we go again. Doo -doo -doo. Quick little stir, get it off the bottom. This over here, so you can see it. All the way to the top. Woo! It says, back down just below the water level. Six more minutes and we're home free. Look at the juice. Look at the color of it. Mmm. It's finally done. One more again. One more again. Every last drop. I gotta make sure to clean this really well because we use this for coffee too. Your grounds can get caught up in the little grate in there, so just make sure that you clean it well. As you can tell, this is very murky and probably very caffeinated. I'm gonna fill the rest of this up with water. Look at this. Wapow! Almost as big as my head. Take that, Guyaki. Still using the same product to give money to your brand, we're just giving a little bit less to it. Now, I'm gonna put this in the fridge, but my wife likes to actually heat it up and drink it warm. Not about that. Maybe during the winter time. Check her out. Oh yeah, I'm just spilling down the sides. Check out that color. That's beautiful, my friend. Yeah. And as you can see, you still have a lot left over. And this is about a 16 ounce glass. So you can do that over the days and not have to spend 350 a piece on energy drinks. Thanks for joining us today on the channel. Absolute blast making this video today for you guys. I have really grown to love Yerba Mate, it, I'm not a huge fan of tea usually. I find that it really gets me going. It's super clean, great way to start your morning, as well as just refreshing. I can make probably six to eight pitchers out of a single bag of Yerba Mate. They cost around $18, $20 a bag. That's a lot of savings. Being 150 calories plus a piece, it's a win-win for everyone to make your own drinks. You can also add different fruit. I've tried a limeade and really just play around with it. See whatever you'd like. I haven't tried it with a soda stream. I'm sure that would be fun if people still use those. Thanks for joining us today. If you found any value in this video today, please be sure to like and subscribe so you can be notified and you won't miss any new recipes or anything fun we're doing on the channel. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you next time.